Hello, this is Geometry Lesson 4. In this, I will discuss similarity of triangle. But before going to the similarity of triangle, let's first discuss what is the basic difference between similarity and congruency. Now, two objects are similar when they are of exact same shape but of different sizes. Shapes would be same, sizes would be different. As you can see that, I can show you two cylinders are there. These two cylinders are similar. They are similar. I am just writing here. These two cylinders are similar. Because they are of exact same shape. They are both cylinders. But of different sizes. Whereas congruency when I say. Two objects are congruent. When they are of exact same shape. As well as same size. In every dimension they are same. You can, you can see that these two. Cylinders are congruent. As they have exact same shape and size. They are equal in every dimension. Its height is 10. This height is also 10. Its radius is 5. Radius is 5. These two cylinders are congruent. Whereas these two cylinders are similar. Now what you can say that. Things are similar. When the things are similar. How the shape will come same. Sizes will be different. But shape will be same. This will only come. When the all corresponding dimensions are in the same ratio. So whenever the two objects are similar, all corresponding dimension will be in the same ratio. As you can see that the radius of big cylinder that is capital R and the radius of small cylinder that is small r I am taking. Radius of big cylinder is capital R. I am making this, let's say this is capital R. This small radius is let's say small r. This radius ratio as well as height, height of this cylinder let is capital H, height of this cylinder let is small h. Height to height ratio, radius to ratio, radius ratio is 2 is to 1. Now you can see that the two objects are similar. The shape will be same, exact same shape. It will only come when the all corresponding dimensions will be in the same ratio. When I say corresponding dimension it means radius to radius, height to height. So that is the meaning of similarity. Shape will be same and sizes will be different. How the shapes will come same when all corresponding dimensions are in the same ratio. Now let's discuss the case of similarity in triangles. If given to you that two triangles are similar, it is given to you. Then all corresponding angles will be equal as well as all corresponding sides. The corresponding sides will be in the same ratio. The sides are in the same ratio. That, that will give you different sizes. All angles are same. That will give you same shape. So that will fulfill our criteria. That two objects are similar. When they have same shape but different sizes. So if I, if I say that triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF. I can say that all corresponding angles are equal. This is 1, this is 1, this is 2, this is 2. This is 3, this is 3. All corresponding angles are equal. As well as corresponding sides are in the same ratio. If I take this x, y and z, I am assuming that ratio is 1 is to 2. So this side will be 2x, 2y and 2z. Now you can see that all corresponding sides are in the same ratio of 1 is to 2. As and all corresponding angles are equal. So these two triangles are given to me. This, these two triangles were similar. So I can say that. All angles will be equal and all sides will be in the same ratio. Apart from the sides, there are some other things which are in the same ratio of sides. Let me discuss one. The sides ratio is 1 by 2. So can I say AB upon DE will be half. BC upon EF ratio will be again 1 is to 2. AC upon DF will also be 1 by 2. So sides are in the same ratio 1 is to 2. Apart from side height. Height means perpendicular. This will also in the same ratio. This is let's say h1. This is h2. They will also in the same ratio of side. Very important. When the two triangles are similar. The ratio of the height is same as the ratio of the sides. Apart from the height medians. Medians of triangle 1. Medians of triangle 2. Their lengths are also in the ratio 1 is 2 2. I will let you know about the medians in the upcoming lessons. Not only median circumradius R1 is to R2, circumradius of first, first triangle and circumradius of second triangle. This is triangle number 1, 
this is triangle number 2 circum radius is the let if we, if we can draw the circle over any triangle this is a circle over the second triangle whatever be the radius these radius are radius of these circles they are called as circum radius so they will also be in the ratio 1 is to 2 that is radius of smaller circle as well as radius of larger circle in the ratio 1 is to 2 same way in radius small r this is called in radius this is in circle these radius of these small inner circles will also be in the ratio 1 is to 2 as well as perimeter will also be in the ratio 1 is to 2 perimeter of triangle 1 perimeter of triangle 2 as you can see that perimeter of triangle 1 is what is perimeter lens sum of lens of all the sides perimeter of triangle 2 this is twice 2x plus 2y plus 2z you can see that this is twice of x plus y plus z now we can see that perimeter also in the ratio 1 is to 2 so very important when the two triangles are similar apart from the sides height medians circum radius in radius as well as perimeter are also in the same ratio of the side now what about the areas area of triangle 1 that is abc and area of triangle 2 what is area is half into base into height half into base base is bc height is h1 half into ef is the base height is h2 now half to half will get cancel out now you can say that bc upon ef into h1 upon h2 both are in the ratio 1 is to 2 you can see that bc upon ef 1 is to 2 ratio as well as height are also in the same ratio so can I say this will be equal to 1 by 2 into 1 by 2 that is 1 by 2 whole square so very important when the triangles are in the ratio when the in the, when the two triangles are similar and the sides are in the ratio 1 is to 2 so area will be in the ratio 1 by 2 square that is 1 by 4 so generalizing that if the two triangles are similar let me take an example if triangle 1 is similar to triangle 2 and sides are in the ratio sides of two, these two triangles are in the ratio a is to b so area of triangle 1 upon area of triangle 2 this will be in the ratio square of sides a by b square as you can see that the sides were in the ratio 1 is to 2 the area is in the ratio 1 by 4 1 by 2 whole square same concept generalizing I am uh, when the sides are in the ratio a is to b the area will be in the ratio a by b whole square so that was the basic concept of similarity now let's discuss how you will check that triangles are similar or not there are three criteria for checking whether the triangles are similar or not first and the most important criteria is AAA when all the three angles of one triangle is equal to the corresponding angles of other triangle then you can see that triangles are always similar as you can see that angle 1 and 1 are equal angle 2 and 2 are equal angle 3 and 3 are equal so these two triangles triangle 1 is similar to triangle 2 this is this is a sign of similarity you can say that two triangles are similar next is SAS it means that two corresponding sides are in the same ratio they are not equal they are in the same ratio this is 4 this is 8 double this is 6 this is 12 double the two corresponding sides are in the same ratio and angle included angle included angle this is included angle angle in between the two sides included angle is same these two triangles that will be formed they will be also similar so triangle 1 in this case also will be similar to triangle 2 two course two corresponding sides are in the same ratio and angle included must be same and third all SSS this is different from SSS of congruency where all corresponding sides were equal in this case all corresponding sides are in the same ratio 2 you can see that 2 4 double 3 and 6 are double 4 and 8 are double so sides are in the corresponding sides are in the same ratio these two triangles are also similar so these three are the criteria to check whether the triangles are similar or not so that was all about the basics of similarity of triangles you must understand this lesson and in the next lesson i will discuss the questions based on the similarity of triangles thank you